Hello, my beautiful people. Sweet Sadie J coming back at you. Hope everyone's having a wonderful day. Let me just start off by saying, other than welcome back to my channel, to all my new subscribers, all my old subscribers, I love you guys. Thank you so much. If you hear anything, it's the AC because it's 88 degrees out here. So, of course, let me apologize for this pink shirt, y'all. I can't say enough of how everybody, and I know everybody, has at least one shirt and one pair of pants that just fits them so perfectly and is so comfortable that you wear it over and over and over again. And I noticed throughout my videos that I have this shirt on a lot, but I just can't help it. It's my run around, do my errands, it's my clean the house with, but I just love it because it's just so comfortable and I got it from the second hand store for $2, something like that. So anyway, I digress. I just wanted to throw that in there because I know you guys are saying, here she is in that pink shirt again. <laughs> but anyway, let's move on with this. I have a car haul from the Dollar Tree. But as always, I had two cups of coffee this morning. Sorry for the steering wheel. I just can't mount my phone any other way. <clears throat> Excuse me. I wouldn't try. Let me see if I can. Maybe I can. What do you think? No, 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 no. Steering wheel. Yeah, so I'm here. And I normally don't eat Burger King. Because I told y'all my story of many moons ago. <clears throat> but... I got out here, I started running my errands, and then all of a sudden I started getting shaky. Oh hell, I gotta stop off somewhere and grab something to eat. And the particular area that I'm in right now, the only two choices I had, <coughs> excuse me, was Hardee's or Burger King. And I didn't want Hardee's, so. Mm. I got one of these BK Cafes. Um, frozen drinks because I love them even though they give me um, brain freeze I love them <laughs> and it's hot out here so it's really nice and refreshing and I'm I hate to talk and eat at the same time y'all but <coughs> please forgive me I'm having a low blood sugar that's the life of a diabetic Dear God, thank you for this food that I'm about to receive for the nourishment and strength of my body. In Christ's sake, in Jesus' name, amen. Okay. As my Emma would say, <laughs> I can't even do it like her. But I really don't like Burger King, y'all. But I had no choice. I had to grab something. So I got a number seven, which I have no idea what it is. It's this little burger. So I didn't want to break the bank at Burger King. And they, whatever it was, it, came, it didn't come with cheese, so I had to get cheese added to it. And I don't know if they upcharged me for it. So, it just looks like a little tiny cheeseburger. So, mmm, 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 mmm. Mm-hmm. The one thing I will say about Burger King that I love was they put onions on everything and I love onions on my burger so that was the way mm, I grew up eating burgers we always had onions either they were chopped or they were sliced these are sliced so you get a real when you bite into it you get a real taste of the onions okay the fries aren't as good as McDonald's fries but then again, McDonald's changed their recipe for their fries a while ago. And I haven't really cared for their fries since. <clears throat> mm. You know, they're playing around with that oil trying to make it better. But anyway, like I was saying, I'm here in the Burger King parking lot because I had to pull over. Mm. And refill, okay? Ooh, the fries are hot. They're burning my fingers. But I hope everyone's having a wonderful day today. It is, what is it? Blessed Tuesday? Yeah. Mm -hmm. It is Tuesday, and I thought I was going to go get my hair done today. But when I called her, she couldn't um, take me until Friday. So these scars will be the look, or my visor at my job will be the look until Friday. <laughs> because, honey, woohoo! 
I'm still cute with the gray hair, y'all. Don't get it twisted, okay? But I'm just not ready for it yet. Look at it. I'm just too cute. I'm not ready for that yet. I don't know when I'm going to be ready for it. I'm 60 years old, so. <clears throat> Maybe 70 if I live that long. Excuse me. I don't know. But I found someone that's almost in walking distance of my home. I literally could walk to her shop. And she's affordable. So we'll see how it goes. Because y'all know I have a history with my, my, my stylist. I find one that I really, really love. They do my hair really, really well. And they're affordable. And I go for about two to two and a half years straight. They could pay a bill off of me, relying on me to come to their shop. But for some reason, around two to two and a half years, all of a sudden, I'm not important. You know, I'm, I don't know where my mind says, you should be treating me, putting me to the top because you can rely on paying a bill by me because you know I'm going to come because I've been coming for two to two and a half years. Instead, they have an attitude of, <clears throat> oh, she's not important. I'm going to have her wait, even though she might be the first to the second customer in her shop. I know that she worked um, at night and she came straight from work. Everybody else came in from, from getting out of their beds, blah, 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 yada, yada. Anyway, it happens to me all the time. So, we're going to see. Oh, man. We're going to see. Because, I mean, like all of them, I really, really love her. I really love the way she does my hair. And the fact that she's affordable, just, you know, it's like the icing on the, on the cake. So, we will see. And I'm going to document how long. <laughs> Mm, mm, mm. It takes before I become unimportant or insignificant or whatever it is. And then I just have to find another one. Because like I've said before, salons are like liquor stores. There's one on every corner. <laughs> There's no reason for anyone to be going to somebody, paying your hard-earned money to get your hair done in a way that they want to do it, but not you want to do You want it done. And then spending the whole John Brown day in there just to get crap. You know, nobody has to go through that. So anyway, I just had to eat enough to get my blood sugar back up, y'all. Mm. <laughs> We're already, I'm already halfway through my day. I really haven't accomplished much at all. Maybe I did. I had to send my half sister some um, documents from when her father passed, my my mother's second husband, and she lives up in New York. So I have to go and get a copy made, and then sorry, my nose is running for some reason, and then go and mail it off. Then I had to go to the bank to pay my rent. Then I have to. Put some, a thank you card in the mail for my auntie, who sent me a thank you card. <laughs> mm. And our post office in Wake Forest and Raleigh, they make copies for you. But our post office down here doesn't. And I was doing everything in my power to try to avoid going into Walmart. Because I think they do copies, but I didn't want to go into Walmart. So... What did I do? I Googled areas, places in my area that make copies. And I would be damned. Oh, there goes my phone. It's too warm. Bye. Okay, my beautiful people. I am back to finish this quick haul. My camera overheated where it was, so I had to, you know, move along until it cooled down. And in the meantime, while I was waiting for my camera to cool down, I ran over to my mom's got her laundry, changed her bed for her, and she gave me some money for doing all these things for her because I took her to the doctor's yesterday. And so 
I just took what she gave me and ran right over here to the Dollar General and picked her up a water hose with the, the nozzle and picked me up some laundry detergent. So that's $20, it was 18 something down the drain. But let's get on with this Dollar Tree haul real quick. It's a very small one. First of all, I wanna show you guys this bag that I love. I saw it, it says, be happy, be kind. This was in the first Dollar Tree that I went to and I just thought it was so darling. So I had to get it and I told her to put all my put all my purchases in that bag. So of course, dun da da da! <laughs> Y'all, these things are addicting, okay? These are the cinnamon crumbles, non-GMO, zero trans fat per serving, no palm oil, no high fructose corn syrup, who cares? I haven't even made it to put these in the microwave to nuke them for a few minutes, you know, heat them up. Mm -mm. I just eat them just like this, y'all. They are small, but they are powerful. They are delicious. And, ooh, <laughs> I'm excited, I'm excited. I don't know why I have my seatbelt on, but I'm keeping it on. I feel secure with it on. So I always go to the small Dollar Tree because every now and then they truly, truly surprise me. I go back and forth to the large one over by my house all the time and I'm just looking and looking for stuff and I just never see it. A lot of times they'll get it in earlier that day and it'll be gone by the time I get there, whatever, blah, blah, blah. But as I was looking in the small one today, I found the knitting needles. Oh my God. They had them in this color, which is like turquoise or blue green. And they had them in the silver and they were hiding them y'all back into a little corner where you never even see them. Aluminum knitting knitting <laughs> needles. I was so happy. Back in the day, you guys, I used to knit and crochet all the time. I loved it. Haven't done it in years, but for a dollar to get knit, knitting needles and crochet needles for a dollar? Oh, <laughs> okay. <laughs> so I was doing some mailing today and I was like putting a lot of stuff in the mail and I noticed that I had like a handful of loose pictures that needed to go in a photo album. So I just saw this in the small Dollar Tree today and I just loved it. And it's just called a photo album and it's so cute and you can put a picture right there in the in here if you like to make it shine through. Hold on y'all sneeze sneeze it. <laughs> Excuse me y'all. <laughs> Excuse me y'all. <laughs> so this just slides out like that and then you could put in a picture. So I will definitely be doing that. <laughs> and then you have, you know, all your pages on both sides where you can fill it up. And I think the handful of pictures that I have is gonna fill this up fine. If I need more, they have plenty. So I'll go back and get another one. And of course that's by Jot. No, no it doesn't say. Special Moments Memory Collections, okay? And then I found this, and I really have no idea what I'm gonna do with it, but because everyone else was hauling it, I wanted to haul it too. Okay. <laughs> That's the Crafted Square Retractable Holder. Um, can extends to 14.5 inches, and they had plenty of them at the Small Dollar Tree and none of them at my Dollar Tree. So I got these, I hope you guys can see that. You got pencils, brushes, whatever you need to put in there. I have no idea what I'm going to put in there, but believe me, guys, I have plenty to put in. I've been on a hunt since I made up my boss's um, little um, appreciation vase with the flowers. I've been on a hunt for the multicolored um, marbles or stones, and I finally found them at the small Dollar Tree. Oh, my God. I was so happy. I should have got two, but... Y'all know how I am. They're so pretty. They're just like multicolored stone, stones, and I love them. So I have an idea about doing something with that. And then um, I found another one. That California Karen, she's got me hooked on these things. So I found another one. And you see it blinks. <laughs> it lights up. And this, is, this one was just too cute. I had to have them. <laughs> I don't know if you guys can see the light in him because I know it is kind of light in here but I had to have them y'all know just a big kid big kid so let me see okay so that was from the small Dollar Tree that thing is still going y'all and this is from 
my Dollar Tree that I segued over to, excuse me for reaching, and I found <laughs> some good stuff. I found the, what is this? Late July snacks, classic tortilla chips, Korean barbecue. Ooh, I like, I like. <laughs> so I got these. I think I saw these on Brown Eyes on a Budget. And they had three different kinds. They had the habanero ones, which I did not get because y'all know me and spice and, and hot stuff goes in well. Love it. When it's time to come out, Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> it is a problem, okay? So I did not get the habaneros, but I did get the late July snacks, classic tortilla chips, buffalo queso. So I know I like those. Isn't that nice? So this is at the Dollar Tree for a dollar. You know, they got the new ones, guys. Well, they had them at my small one. I mean, at my large one. And I've run out of my Ricola throat drops or cough drops that I um, get every month when I do my online pickup shopping from Walmart. So I just had to pick up a few bags from, from the Dollar Tree just to suffice me right now because every, every morning I wake up coughing and I've got like a knot in my throat and blah, blah, blah. It's part of my asthma. So I got, they had so many y'all, I could not decide which one I wanted. I have a short clip coming before this video and you guys will see it. I'm just like, they had so many to choose from. And most of them said, soothe the sore throat, temporary fights cough. I didn't really have a sore, I don't have a sore throat. I just coughed. I, just, I liked my mother, but these are the only ones that I found, I think that were sugar free. So I did end up going with the Assured Honey and Lemon Cough Drops, just to have something to pop into my mouth. Um, you know, in the middle of the night or early in the morning when I wake up and I'm coughing, it's annoying as hell, okay? Excuse me, Lord. And then I found these new look dietary supplement drops, Hall's Defense, 225% daily value of vitamin C in each serving. Helps support the, immu the immune system. And they're assorted citrus, natural flavor with other natural flavor. And you get 14 in the bag, they're the small ones. But I was like, well, anything that can help us fight our immune system, I'm on board with it. And it doesn't expire until July 2021. So y'all already know, I take my, um, what is it called? What's it called? Sambuca, the great value brand. I take those already. I take one every day. So I'm going to try these because I want to keep my immune system up while we're going through this C word. Okay. <laughs> And then let's see what else I got. I got some Bumblebee Light Tuna in water. And I really, really, really wanted this because I was like, you know, when I don't feel like opening the cans, I can just open this pouch real quick, add my little, you know, add my own ingredients to it and they don't already have stuff in it. The sodium is still 210 milligrams, but the carbs are two grams and no sugar. So I really, really wanted these, and I love bumblebee tuna. So I wish it had a set albacore, because that's the one I normally eat, but I'm not so bougie that I won't eat this. So bumblebee seafood, wild caught, caught light tuna in water. So that's the healthiest one there that you could get. Believe me, I spent quite a minute sitting there going through all of them to see which one was actually healthy for you. Okay, and that was it. And it was Bumblebee, so I was happy about that. And then I found this extra large bar, Nature's Valley, 50% more, sweet and salty, chewy granola bars, and it's a peanut. And I love the chewy ones. I hate those hard ones, but I really said, ooh, I love this. I know this has sugar and stuff in it, but it's 31 grams of carb and minus two fibers, so that brings it down to 29 grams of carbs. Total sugars is 11 grams. So that's not bad for a nice quick snack, a nice pick me up, something to keep in my purse when I get the shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it, like I did today, like I always do, because I know I should not go out of the house without eating. And then I found these, and I was like, mm hmm, 
what is this? <laughs> this is Mayo Vitamins. Vitamins A plus C plus D, free from real fruits and vegetables. It is called the, um, how do you say it? Oh, I just forgot how to pronounce it. Oh, oh, see, when you look at it, you get you get mixed up, but it's not how it, you don't say it the way it looks. It's the oh god, I can't. Oh, I hate when I go when I get a brain freeze. Acai, holy crap! <laughs> this is the acai drinks, and you get five big envelopes in here and you just it's acai blueberry natural flavor with other natural flavors drink mix and it's five on the go packets and so it looks like a kai acacia whatever but it always mixes me up it's actually pronounced acai <laughs> so i found these in the dollar tree for five for one dollar today you guys and i was like what what is this and acai is another really really good um uh, immune fighting system you know acai is very very good for you so i got that and that's what the big envelopes look so you need a big bottle of water or you only need a half in the small bottles so i got those <laughs> and it's it's coming to an end guys it's coming to an end let me put this all stuff oh i did end up getting two of these you guys i didn't realize that but i did get two so all right, let's put this stuff back in here. I was so thrilled to find those knitting needles. Now all I gotta do is find my crochet needle and I'm gonna be good. And now I gotta go home and do mom's laundry and you know, take care of me. And then I found, finally found some of the cable protectors and I chose the shark one. That's so cute. They had the panda, the doggy, and all these other ones. But I said, let me try one first. And they had them kind of hidden, y'all. So I didn't see these when I first went in and I had bought the first bag of stuff. I had to turn around and buy this second bag of stuff because I did not see all the stuff when I first went in there. So the second thing I bought was, <gasps> had to get me some more Laffy Taffy. They still don't have the, um, the water Taffy, whatever it is yet. Neither of my stores had it, but I bought some more Laffy Taffy. Laffy Taffy's, I bought these the last time. And that's the banana, the strawberry, the grape, and the apple. But this time they had the pineapple and the guava. So I was like, oh, yummers, yummers, yummers. So I got this one and this one because that Laffy Taffy is the bomb. Okay, so then I got, oh, I was having a low blood sugar when I was in there. So I just was grabbing stuff. But I don't really know what I'm going to do with these because, I mean, I love these. Especially the Mr. Good Bars in there. Yes, please. But I only bought them because, you know, when you're having a low blood sugar, you just start grabbing stuff. So, and then I found some more of the spits. They should be in one of my, um, one of my um, short clips coming up as well. They have them in the cracked pepper and they also have them in the dill pickle. Now... I was getting ready to get some and I saw on Fiona's Thrifty Divas that she realized that they were cracked pepper too. <laughs> and I started laughing because I was like, oh my God, I'm so glad I didn't grab them. So I went back today and I was looking and all of a sudden they had all the spits, cracked pepper ones there, but now they had the dill pickle ones. So I grabbed one of those and it's the reclosable bag. Um, you know, I don't know what they're going to taste like, but I love to just sit around and nosh on stuff like this. And, you know, it's not as bad. Sodium is like 480 milligrams, but you got to eat like, what, three tablespoons or something? I don't know. But anyway, I got those, and those are new at the Dollar Tree. They're called Spitz Sunflower Seeds. Dill Pickle. So, I got those. And I think that's it. No, last one. I was checking it out and it had this Kool-Aid gum, tropical punch, cherry, and grape at the register. And I was just like, oh yes, y'all remember Kool-Aid? Everybody remember Kool-Aid? Yes, just like we, how would you like Hawaiian punch? <laughs> so they had this Kool-Aid gum and you get one, two, three, four, or yeah, and three different uh, flavors and it's 20 pieces in the whole thing. So I thought that was pretty cool. 
Kool-Aid gum. I don't know if it's sugar-free or not, but it didn't say. Yeah, it doesn't say. It's not sugar-free. All right, so that is my Dollar Tree haul. And then, like I said, I just quickly um, ran over. Mom gave me a couple of dollars for doing all this stuff for her, and I just took it. She asked me to get her a water hose at the Dollar Tree yesterday, and I told her Dollar Tree doesn't sell water hoses, so she gave me some money, and I ran right over here to the DT and got her one of these cute little True Living. It's a small one, something that she can handle with her fragile hands, and it was only $5, so I got her that. And then I got her a nice wide one that hopefully she can hold with her, she can grip with her hands. My mom's hands are really, really fragile. And that looks like that. And it was only $4. And I made sure that it fit before <laughs> before I purchased it because I'm going to be the one that's going to have to go over there and hook it up, take it out of the things and hook it up for her. So she just wants this so she can um, rinse off her patio chairs from the, you know, daily dust and stuff. So, now I know I tried this, oh, okay, Whew. I was just gonna say, I know I tried this in the store before I left. So that's her water hose and her nozzle that I got her out of the money that she gave me. <laughs> this is how we roll. <laughs> and then I got my detergent, cause I was running, I was getting low and I was planning on going to the Dollar General to refurbish. But I usually try to do it until they, when they do the five for 25. But I don't have time to wait for that. So I got my Arm & Hammer, powerfully clean, naturally fresh, and it says 50% more. And it was the only one that said 50% more. And it was only $5. And it had all the other ones sitting there right next to it on both sides. And they were much smaller. And they were all $5. So I got this one with the blue top, which I don't care as long as it's Arm & Hammer. I love Arm & Hammer. It doesn't make my clothes make me itch, you know? I know this is a long video, you guys. I'm sorry. I might have to split this up in two. But then I got some downy um, fabric softener. And this is the new one that I've never seen before. It is Citrus and Vanilla Bliss. And it's 40 loads. This is what this one looks like. I know my steering wheel is in the way. But that's what that one looks like. And I didn't even get to smell it. Mmm. Oh, that smells divine, divine. So that's what that one looks like. And that's 40 loads because when I do mom's laundry, I do not use my detergent, I use hers. And when I do my laundry, I don't use her detergent, I use mine. So that is the end of my, sorry, <laughs> quite long, <laughs> quite lengthy, um, day in the life of sweet Sadie J on her day off. I'm getting ready to go home, get settled down, start mom's laundry. I hope you guys enjoyed watching. Love, peace, and happiness. Sweet Sadie J coming back at you. Remember, guys, be kind to each other. The world is big enough for us all. I love you all so very much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Remember, like, comment, and subscribe. Bye, guys.